Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. Mm, all right, fine. I mean, it's a Vault Platinum. Why not? Ooh. Ooh, fundamental focus can be used to modify Vault Gear, reforge all implicits. I feel like those are rare. I want to say those are really rare. But I have four of them, so I'm not going to spend that much soul, soul shots on them. On, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Not, not happening. But Vault Gold. I can always use that. Now, this expertise point is really, really something that <laughs> I'm not sure what to get because all of this is really good. So I'm going to take Lucky Altar. I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea. I, in theory, I could have probably taken Mokhtar. Yeah, I, I probably should have taken Mokhtar. I didn't, I didn't actually see that that had other things, but oh well. <laughs> Here we are. But anyways, in this episode, or in the last episode, I should say, we unlocked Eye Spawner, which is right down here, which is really, really awesome. However, I found out that in order to make the spawner room chambers that I want to make, I believe it is dark utilities. Yes, dark utilities that I need to go ahead and get in order to be able to do stuff that I really want. That means I have two unspent knowledge points remaining, which would be just enough to be able to unlock vault potions or potentially something else like Torchmaster. I don't actually know if there's anything more in Torchmaster other than uh, prevents natural spawning of hostile monsters in a big radius around the torch. I mean, that would be kind of cool, except that it takes an epic co uh, pog there. But um, hmm, I'll think about it because today we're going to be primarily building. The focus is going to be this and uh it, it's gonna be interesting and first things first i need to figure out where i actually want to place this spawner area and it, yeah, i'm kind of thinking like over here maybe like in in this by the way this is not in the mod pack where you can like spin around all 360 without the character move, moving i haven't removed the mod yet i was doing a thumbnail thing a while back and i haven't removed it yet but i'm thinking kind of here like underneath the farming area I basically need to make a 9x9 cube, essentially. Also, I have not tested this, so whether or not this is going to go good or not, I have no idea. I guess before building, we should probably do what is most exciting, and that is building the stuff that we're going to be needing for it, specifically the Epo, uh, the, the Epo, the Echo Park, which we're going to be making right now. So first of all, that is a perfect Echo Gem right there. Then I need to get all the parks that I have saved up so far which is four and then i need to remind myself which of the gems it is that i need to be able to make even more parks which is first of all this then this and be right back <laughs> and if i am not mistaken that should be all the gems for parks and here we go my very very first Echo Park. Really, really cool. However, we're not done yet because I need to make four of these cage pieces, which each one of them requires a, a black chromatic ingot, which of which I have none. And these... Ooh, oh, I have just enough, actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> this might be a lot easier than I... Actually, it is going to be a lot easier than I thought it would. I mean, wow. Uh, did I have resources. Oh, but then I need even more chromatic steel and a whole lot of Laramar. Oh boy. It just occurred to me that I do not have finished carbon in a drawer space. Huh. Let me fix that real quick. <laughs> oh, no, not these. I need these and I need lots of it. Oh dear. Oh wow, this is actually going to be really expensive. <laughs> I need like... Oh, you can't stack them in eight? That's a weird number. That's a very weird number. But anyway, uh, not you. That's that would be or actually. Yes, I do need that. So, yeah, that's one. Oh, wow. I'm going to need a lot of chromatic iron ingots and carbon, apparently. Oh, dear. All right. That's another one to to go. Hmm. Yeah, this is quite a quite a significant height. That is a nine size pillar this being the middle and i would need it to go out like this yeah that's I mean, i'm just trying to get an idea of the room here that i need to dig out eventually and well that does look quite significant doesn't it hmm. i could of course make a building for it 
That's another idea. I do like the idea actually of having another building to the area. Uh, do I make just a box over there? I feel like that wouldn't be very good. I also do kind of like this mountain, but that could be that. Hold on, actually, I might have an idea here. Remove this and make a big giant black cube with wood. Ooh. Okay, I kind of like that idea. I kind of do like that idea, actually. I don't know if it would like... I guess it would... Eh. Hmm. I kind of like the like the natural uh, thing there, but then again, need to expand. I feel like having it back here would just make it so that I don't see it. I would also kind of like it to have it under here. Decisions, decisions. Okay, this is actually six blocks, so if we made a little bit of a staircase right here, maybe and let it down a bit, then actually I think it would be all right. So we could have it here. I just need to decide now whether or not I want it to be in a building or if I want it to be on the ground. And there we go. This is the fourth cage piece right there. And that means that I should... Oh, I need four. <laughs> oh, I need four more. That is so expensive. Right. That is very expensive. Oh, dear me. Well, as it seems that I need to go ahead and smelt a lot more uh, crematic, uh, cr cr crematic, crematic iron ingots. That is meaning that I can now go ahead and leap over here and tear down this. Uh, yes, I have decided that um, I am indeed. I didn't know it could instant mine. <laughs> I have decided that I am indeed going to go ahead and get rid of this hill and then build a giant cube of doom. I think Iskel would approve. Do I seriously not have another right shovel? There we go. Now I have a shovel. Let's get to it. And just like that, it is now completed. I just need to go ahead and patch a few holes here. And then we should be good to proceed. I'll I'll make the terrain prettier later. TM. <laughs> uh, <the>, uh... <laughs> I. Huh. Okay, I didn't know you could actually place down these. That's a cool. But also, <laughs> I didn't know that was actually possible. <laughs> Okay, all right, this is a nine by nine area. This is going to be the spawn cube. I think I'm okay with the placement. And uh, we're going to have some stuff like in, in the corners, etc., some pillars, etc. Um, so yeah, the, oh, come on. <laughs> so yeah, this is the center. This is where the spawn block is going to be like four blocks up, I think. Yeah, four blocks up. And then we're going to be using these vector plates to move the mobs around to a central area and Either we can move them all over here towards this very block where I can then manually go ahead and slice slice or I can install an elevator, which I don't remember the price for. Oh, yeah, that's cheap kind of cheapish. I could install an elevator, go down and then there's like a, a chamber there. I could do something like that. I could do something like that. I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to do, but I could. Okay, finally, I think I have everything to make. The survival spawner. Oh yeah, finally. Oh, that took a while. We have two remaining chromatic ingots and also a little bit of carbon remaining. We, have, we really used a lot of carbon for that. Now, one thing that I want to test here is if there's obstruction, does the elevator still work? Oh, it does. Okay, very good to know. I might need that for this idea. Because you see, this survival spawner, once you place it, I don't want to place it right now, but once you actually go ahead and place it, you can then put in a specific survival spawn egg, aka what we're going to be getting from these mystery hostile eggs. Um, and for that, I would need some sort of access point to this, and having this room completely dar uh, in darkness and me having to go in here, that is just not going to work in any shape or form. So what I think we're going to have is a little bit of an elevator shaft here. Okay, leading down. So that's that is the floor right there. So it would lead down to the center. So that would be I need to use the right pickaxe, but it would be right here. Nope, it would what? one, two, three. Oh, yeah. It'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be basically where the mobs are going to drop down from. 
need a chamber here, but that means that I want to have some sort of elevator where I can go up, zoop, be above the spawner somewhere where I can actually reach it and then change out the spawn egg. And I think, I think it's going to be all right. I think it's going to be working just fine. I'm hoping anyway. So this is going to be the middle layer here. And I'm thinking maybe just to add some detail to it, we'll add some locks going horizontally like this, maybe. I mean, the, 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 granted, the building is not looking like much right now, but if everything goes according to plan, which it definitely will, uh, <laughs> then it uh, it'll be just fine. Hopefully, anyway. So the spawner is going to be one, two, three, four. It's going to be placed right here, and I'm going to do it right now. Boom. So if we right click this, this is where we could do stuff. We could also do some configuration stuff with wisdom, which we may want to do. But the more blocks that are going to be in this nine by nine area, the less efficient I think it's going to be. I actually haven't used that thing before, so um, I could be messing it up completely. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been a while since I watched the Iskel do it, so um, yeah, this is gonna be fine. For now though, I have a lot of blocks to fill in, so I will be right back when I'm done. Okay, well, so far I have a 9x9 cube, uh, so I guess for now, mission accomplished. However, where we get from here is uh, going to be interesting. I think the next thing that I need to do is block up that, and I need to get up here. Oh, very nice. Um... Yeah, see, I need to be able to access that spawner without actually having to... Maybe just a glass tunnel? With ladders? Maybe? I I don't know. I, I, I actually don't know at this point. <laughs> I haven't planned this far ahead. I mean, I have a trap door. That should block off the, the sun. Do, do I have any ladders? Nope, okay. Um... Hmm. Okay, well, before continuing, I think we should go ahead and make these vector plates if possible. First, we need the normal vector plates, and then we need to transform them into the fast vector plates. Um, and seeing this now, how many do I actually need? I mean, it's a, it, it should be pretty simple math. It's a 9x9 nine nine area, so that is 9x9. Nine nine. I totally... I totally know what that what uh, what nine by nine is. Um, eighty one. Yeah, don't hurt the crops. Yeah, eighty one. Ha <laughs> ha. I did math. Oh no, I need to stone cut. Oh no. Um, I need a super smelter. <laughs> I really, really, really need a super smelter. Also because I'm genuinely running out of uh, scaffolding. Um. Yeah, that is concerning. I need a new fuel source. I suppose while that is running and the uh, sun is slowly setting in the background, I suppose we can make these myst uh, uh, mystery hostile eggs, which requires vault diamonds, essence, and vault meat. So I have essence here. Probably gonna need like cobble stacks of those and cobble stacks of these. And then where do I have the? Oh yeah, here. Perfect. We have plenty of that. So I'm just going to convert all of the. Mm. Slimes, do they count as hostile eggs? <laughs> um, I'm just going to make 14. 14. And let's see what we actually go ahead and uh, and get. But first I'm going to sleep. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I just right click. And I get stuff. Magma cube. I mean, that's close though. Magma cube. Husk. I guess. Uh, okay, magma cube is good for... Uh, the, uh, you, you know what? You know what? Let's just, let's just go ahead. E. Let's go ahead and make all of them. Boom. I, I did it. And, uh, I'm, I'm happy about it. <laughs> I'm really hope I'm not going to regret this. Okay. Spider is going to be good because string and spider eye. Magma cube for uh, magma cream. Husk is okay for rotten flesh. Normal zombies would be ideal though. This is skeleton, I'm pretty sure. So that's really good. Uh, let's see what this is. Piglin Brute. Uh, I think that is less useful. Let's see what we get here. Uh, I'm Iron Golem. I mean, free iron, I guess. <laughs> Another husk. That's a duplicate. And a, wi a wither. Whew. I mean, I don't have Kagerium actually researched, so I guess mm, I don't want to spawn in a wither uh that 
That's dangerous. Uh, <laughs> okay, another spider one. This is going to be a piglin. Oh, piglin brute. Yikes. Enderman. Oh, that's good. Why do I... Why? Cave spider. I mean, I already have the spider, so I think that's fine. Another skeleton. I mean, I really, really want slime. Just saying. You know what? <gasps> that's... That's a slime. That hell, hell my voice. <laughs> that's a slime. I mean, drowned is good. Some if I picklin, I guess gold and run flesh. Slime evoker. Oh, we actually got the slime spawn egg. I'm so happy. I don't care about anything else, honestly. You know what? Let's just open all of these at once. Let's see what we get. Creeper for gunpowder. Blaze for blaze rod. Stray, not that useful. Wow. Okay. So we actually got a lot of useful eggs here. I need some sort of chest, actually. We need a we need a special chest. Don't I have a special chest? Maybe I use the special chest. All right, that's fine. I will use a less special chest, I suppose. <laughs> oh, oh wow, this place is actually working already. <laughs> Yikes! All right, get up here. We're gonna place the chest here for now. And so I'm going to try and spawn in something that I can actually deal with. Um, let's do skeletons. Okay. So I guess, I mean, now we know that this place is definitely dark enough to spawn stuff. So I'm going to add glass. I, again, don't know how efficient that's going to be. Uh, can I place it? No, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. You know what? It's fine. I, I can have plenty of glass. I'm gonna get rid of these blocks here. Can I? You know what? Fine. I'll get down and do it this way. I'll do it. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, so my intention is to have this trapdoor there and then this trapdoor here. Because. Oh no, light does come through, it seems. I mean, that's fine. I can just have a block that I've just replaced it with. Oh yeah, that's that's much darker, and I really wanted this trapdoor to be where I could actually stand on it, but that's fine, I suppose. I don't need that anyway. <laughs> so, I can actually go ahead and put the glass on... Oh dear. Need to place you, you... It's fine, I'll fix it afterwards. So if I add skeleton in here... And then charges, one... Always on. Boom. Oh, wow. That actually works really well. I thought the glass would actually go ahead and ruin stuff, but no, that's actually really good. Okay, I'm going to uh, do that. And wow, that is a lot more efficient than I thought it would be. <laughs> that's incredible. I mean, I have a lot of cleaning up to do now, but this is working wonders. Okay, brilliant. This is great. Uh, please go away. <laughs> okay, for now I'm just gonna add some uh, torches so we don't get any incidents. But that's good. It works. It actually does work. I don't need to do a bunch of redstone stuff. Okay, so now I guess I need to do the 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 collection chamber kind of thing. Yeah, but before doing that, uh, that is 70, so that is 80. I think literally I have enough. I think, uh, I really hope that I haven't messed up the calculations here. But I think I have, wait, can I go ahead and turn it back? I cannot. Okay, it's fine. It's an investment. I'm sure I will need them anyway at some point. <laughs> okay, go ahead and grab a ton of Laramar and go ahead and grab a bunch of this magic silk. And let's go ahead and make vector plates. Boom. And I'm going to need a little bit more just to make it so that we have an even amount here. Because otherwise it's not gonna work. Alright, back to plates. Oh no, it costs... Wait, what? You use six and only get four? Bruh. Okay, well, now I can test how fast these are. Oh, that's fast enough. I mean, I was going to upgrade the fat to fast vector plates. Which I'm still going to do. <laughs> which I'm still going to do. But man, that's expensive. Ay ay ay. I'm running low on chromatic iron. I don't like this one bit. That is not good. <laughs> this is expensive. Okay, I think I now have enough normal vector plates. 
uh, I think anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and do this now to fast vector plates because I believe I now have 80. And so I just need a little bit more Larimar and then it should be that. Yes. Uh, not quite. <laughs> I don't think I may need one more to be able to fix this off, but then I think that is that. All right, progress has been made here in the basement. I'm thinking of adding glass here so the tube is nice and transparent. And then I'm thinking of just adding. Can I can I make glass slabs by any chance? Glass. Nope, I, I can't. So I'm going to add this here. Maybe I'm going to add it here instead. And then I should be able to just stand here and uh, do that. Maybe I think. Me think? I think so. Okay, so that is the that's the chamber. So now I need to go ahead and work on the actual or the part where they actually get moved around. So I'm going to remove these now, these torches, and basically all of these vector plates now need to lead towards that pole, like that. Boom. I'm going to place a block there for now though, so we don't <laughs> keep and end, end up in there because that would be very annoying. So this is going to force the mobs to actually go into uh, that specific place. Oh boy, this is gonna be very can I sneak on? Oh, I can sneak on. Them. Okay, that makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, I think uh, Oh, no, that's not the direction I wanted it to have. I want it to have this and then I can just lead it in whichever direction I wanted to I suppose um I, I it doesn't really matter I was looking at like which way to actually face the arrows doesn't matter one bit <laughs> we're never going to go back in here again probably so place them down get it done and let's see if it works and ladies and gentlemen we have just enough would you look at that that is beautiful okay so i now need to go in here remove you very nice and then do that go all the way up here and block that off whenever i need to actually use this thing okay that is very cool all right so now i just need to make this build look a little bit prettier than it already does because I think currently, yeah, it's missing some sort of roof, isn't it? Yeah, I need to uh, fix that real quick somehow. I don't know how, but I'm going to do it. Maybe, potentially, we'll see. <laughs> I have a visitor, it would appear, and nothing of interest. Okay, that's unfortunate for him in a moment, but <laughs> now I've gone ahead and made four black elevators because that means I can place one here, then one here, so I can easily get in and out. Then my plan is to one block over, maybe on the other side, now that I think about it, actually. I'm going to make this floor prettier, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm going to place it over here, and then on top of the roof, one block over in this direction. So here I think it is. I'm going to place this, and... Oh yeah, so I can easily get over here, do this, add another egg, whatever, because I won't be needing the dash, block that up, go down and continue whatever it is that I'm doing. Okay, I am very happy with how this is turning out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay, so I now need, meow, I now need to go ahead and make a different floor, better walls for sure. What on earth? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Okay, <laughs> and definitely a better route for this. So yeah, I am just gonna stop talking and get back to work. Okay, he actually legitimately jump scared me, and he he ruined my crops. He ru he actually ruined my crops. That. Uh, you, 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 seriously? Wow. That is so, so rude. And before what happened last time happens again, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, good. 
I actually completely forgot we had these uh, wooden uh, planks from the, the wood chips. Uh, hmm. I don't think I could have really used them for anything particular other than the walls in the basement, which I'm now... Oh, they have locks. <laughs> they have locks, which uh, has stuff. Okay, yeah, I missed that part. I could have probably used them for the build instead of the oak, but I guess I did want that to be kind of, you know, the same as the rest of the base. So I guess the basement is fine if it's in a different... I'm... I'm concerned, I'm confused, and I want to get out of here. <laughs> Go away! You know what? I'm actually pretty happy with this. I might want to do a little bit of the change over here, maybe turn this entire stone into blackstone, I'm not sure. But, yeah, I, th I think I kind of like that. Maybe add a few torches here or there. Also upstairs here, here, and then here. Yeah, I actually like that a lot. <laughs> I'm actually very happy with how this has turned out, and believe it or not, I have just winged it. It may maybe it doesn't look good in your eyes, but it it does mine. So yeah, be, be happy for me. I'm not a good builder, <laughs> please. All right, and with that, I think the exterior is actually done for now. Again, I do want to uh, sp uh, spice this up maybe a little bit later at some point. Maybe I could do that in a stream if you guys would like to see that. Let me know down below in the comments. But for now, I think the main structure. Is actually complete now all there's left to do really is uh improving this and i think just adding these as the walls having the black rooftop here because it kind of has to be because it's the floor of inside the, <laughs> the mystery cube and then maybe the floors is maybe as well black stone and then i think it's pretty much it and just like that i think that that is pretty much it for this. Yep, I am pretty happy with how this has turned out, ladies and gentlemen. It is simple, it is not over the top, but it gets the job done pretty much. Uh, can I, without turning it into a cupcake, um, I think east. Yeah, so I can actually face the right way around. That's actually pretty cool, and hide arrow. Oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and if I want to get to the roof, just go around over here, and then I change the egg from there. I love it. I love this setup. It's awesome. And it finished just as the rain started to pour down. I love this. <laughs> oh man, it feels so good to have that done. Well, I think we're going to call the episode there in a little bit. I want to go ahead and make this crystal right here so it's ready for next time, and then I want to run a session with a mob in there, specifically a very specific slider type of mob that uh, I've had issues with in the past. Now this crystal, actually just looking at it, it's actually quite easy. I don't know if we have any, oh, we do even have snowballs remaining. That is perfect. I think I have everything, maybe except for the string. Nope, I have plenty of string. <laughs> and I should have coal in here as well. Perfect, so that is an easy crystal that is ready for next time i might move the elevator over here just because this is where i'm kind of gonna stand and i'm not really gonna be jumping so i th think i'm actually gonna go ahead and move it over just because it's going to be a lot easier uh for me to do that uh, ah, almost <laughs> almost made it uh magnet on let's throw you break you place you and do that Perfect, yeah. So, we're gonna go ahead and take slime. It's the cho chosen one. Go here, always on. Oh, slimes might be an issue. Because they don't actually, like, fit down the hole. I must admit, I didn't think about that one. Um, but hey, we're getting slime balls. And... Huh. Yeah, I, I really didn't think about the slimes being too big. <laughs> I mean, I could go ahead and kind of just shoot with some arrows and javelins and whatnot. Really wasn't the point of the farm. But, um, I mean, hey, it works. And I don't think I ever really need to worry about slime balls ever again. Let's be fair, though. We didn't make this farm... Wow, they're loud. 
we didn't make this farm uh, only for the slimes. We made it so that we can get any mob drop that we get that we have the the spawn egg for anyway, and well, basically get the get the drops, which is what this farm was about. And well, it's done. And I don't think there's anything we really need to worry about unless we don't have this, any mystery eggs anymore, which we currently don't. But we we hopefully we will get a lot more in the future. I mean, look at this. Boom. Two. Over two stacks of slime balls. That, I mean, in just like, what was that? One second? What, one minute? One minute of me talking gibberish? <laughs> Look at that. Two stacks and nine slime balls. This is efficient. Wow. Very nice. And I think in terms of the unspent knowledge points, I'm just going to leave them there. Because in the long run, I will probably want to upgrade my storage to refined storage or applied logistics very soon. Maybe not very soon, but soon-ish kind of thing. Maybe I want to get belts, which is an upgraded from double pouches. Um, if I want refined storage, I will need power and power would be ideal for that. So yeah, I'm just gonna save them because we will be needing them in the future. Um, and yeah, I just need to save up on a bunch of knowledge. Yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. Maybe you even learned something from my uh, very questionable uh, skills at building and setting this up but it works and i am really really happy with it and we have a crystal ready to run for the next one i'm not gonna spoil what it's going to be but i have a specific intention with that crystal and you will just have to wait and find out what exactly it is so i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did be sure to leave it a like subscribe if you are new enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode and i hope to see you in the next one until then have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye